fountain of life. At first, I am just a thread of crystalline water that emerges from the depths of the earth. I sprout from among the stones and come to the surface to catch the sun's rays. I start my journey at the top of the mountain and slide between rocks. As I go forward, I come across and bind with other waters. We become one, a single, wider, and stronger stream. I'm always on the move. My waters connect with those of lakes, lagoons, ponds, and wells. A multitude of plants, reeds, ferns, or large trees such as the ceiba and aguajacan grow on my shores. Many species thrive and reproduce here. They change as I descend into flatter, warmer lands. There are fish, turtles, stingrays, crabs, and many others, such as herons, chigros, and otters. They all add to the great diversity that visits me to cool off and quench their thirst. In my journey, I cross crops that need my water to grow. I meander the boats of the fishermen who come in search of food. I border cities and towns that hold parties on my shores. While I delight with the laughter of the children and adults who dive into my waters. But not everything is happiness. In some places, men have put large tubes that come out of houses and industries and dump large amounts of waste in my stream. Dark waters, full of foam, mixed with mine, affecting those who inhabit me and driving away those who need me. It smells awful. I can't drink this water. What are we going to do? A concerned otter exclaims. He can't even see where we're going, says a savannah catfish. After swimming there for a while, I feel sick. As a colorful duck. Plastics, cans, fabrics, and other types of waste fall into my waters. They slow me down, impact my current, and hurt the living beings that swim in me. I hope things get better in the future, but I'm not optimistic. Huge machines dig at my sides. They're looking for minerals they consider valuable. They scrape my soil, damage the vegetation that protects me, build wells, stop my current, cut off the oxygenation of my waters, and pour poisonous products that will end up affecting every form of life in them. I feel sick and sad. If you could see me, you wouldn't recognize me. A part of me manages not to get trapped in the well. I struggle to resume my course and continue my journey. I find other waters and, although I still carry pollutants, I recover some of my clarity. I feel better. I hear the voices of those who wish to take care of me, and I feel hopeful. They have planted trees on my shores. They have understood that what they see is only a piece of me. They understand that I am long and great, that I am united to other currents, and that my path is extensive because I want to reach the sea and join my fresh water with its salt water. But I can't do that if those who need me do not take care of me. This is going to be very hard. Look how contaminated it is. True, but with care and patience, we can begin to recover it. We need more people to come together and understand its importance. There is no life without water. We have to learn to take care of it. I hope people hear them. As for me, I hope to regain my strength and resume my path. I am a bearer of life, a moving thread that ties what is on my shores with what circulates through my course. I am food and I am home, a source of union between different species that need to be cared for and preserved. Come and meet me. I am the river.